Hi everyone, I'm John and I am going to talk to you about my project Story Writer. Um, has anybody here heard of Project Gutenberg? A few of you. So Project Gutenberg is a, uh, a website that is an archive of public domain uh, books and they have uh, all sorts of books, history books, um, reference books, literature, basically any uh, any book that's released into the public domain, um, they have converted into um, an e-publication format. Um, what's really cool about Project Gutenberg is that they have some bookshelves that people have curated. Um, and one of these bookshelves is a bookshelf of children's anthologies. Um, so the, this bookshelf has... Um, has this one section here called Every Child Should Know, um, which has a number of uh, anthologies of different types of children's literature. Now, my kids love stories, um, and they especially like it when I make up stories for them. Uh, there's a problem. I'm not very good at it. And so we always end up sort of telling the same story over and over. Or it's like the same set of characters. Um, and so uh, I'd been promising them uh, since I got here that I would that I would build something for them. So Story Writer is my attempt to do that. Before I show you Story Writer, I wanted to show you a bit more about um, about these anthologies. And so uh, you open up these anthologies. Uh, so this one is called Fairy Tales Every Child Should Know. And it is a list of, gosh, I want to say um, maybe a dozen or two uh, uh, stories. Um, everything from the Princess and the Pea, to Beauty and the Beast, Jack and the Beanstalk, and some that I hadn't heard of before, like um, uh, One Eye, Two Eyes, Three Eyes. I had never heard that one before. Um, and there are, there are a number of these. Um, this is famous stories every child should know. Um, and so some of these are uh, uh, like the story of Ruth from the Book of Ruth, or uh, uh, The King of the Golden River by John Ruskin, A Child's Dream of a Star by Charles Dickens, and they're just in text format. So I thought it would be fun to, um, to apply a little bit of natural language processing to these and, uh, and put them into a giant database of children's books. Um, so this, this is a, some statistics on the database um, the corpus that I built. Um, so I, I had, I think, about uh, I think it was 10 anthologies. Um, there are 923,000 words uh, in those anthologies and about 28,000 unique words. Um, and then you'll see the word bigram. So a bigram is a two-word pair. Um, and there are 321,000 unique bigrams. Um, and the most common word is the. Um, <laughs> So then I, I took all of that and I, I built a fairly rudimentary uh, Markov model. So a Markov model says, okay, given, uh, given this, what is the probability of the next thing and then the next thing after that? Um, and so you'll see that demonstrated in the, um, in the app. So here is StoryWriter. Pretty simple. Um, so I can change the title. Mm, let's say, and the beast, and uh, does anybody know who wrote Beauty and the Beast? We'll just call it Disney. <laughs> um, so then you just start writing, and you write, once upon a time there was a beast. Doesn't look like much, right? Well, let's start that over again. Um, but this time, uh, actually, I'm going to restart it. This time, I'm going to write Beauty and the Beast uh, by Disney. And I am uh, not going to hide suggestions this time. And I'm going to say, once upon a time, there was a beast. So what this is doing is it's, it's creating Markov generations of suggestions that you might uh, that you might want to use to write your story. Um, I'll, I'll warn you, they're a little word salad, but, they're, uh, but they, uh, they do have some, some inspirational um, uh, sort of uh, flair to them. So what is it? It's a little hard to see. Um, 
from there, I wonder if I can make it a little bigger, yeah. So some of the suggestions after the word beast, so what it's doing here is it's saying um, beast, and it's predicting the, and then the, and it's predicting earth, earth, predicting and, um, and, uh, and basically going all the way through to create this chain. So once upon the, a, a time there was a beast, um, the earth and the same time in the first. Um, so maybe let's start the, the earth and the same time in the first. All right. Um, and then uh, the king of his eyes of his head to be. Um, <laughs> is the world, so he was a few years of de Balzac. <laughs> To be sure of his own country. Okay, so so maybe um, help me turn this into a continuation of the story. So who 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 wants to? You know, this this is just computer generated, but it's based on probabilities. So we have we ha rather than letting it just go to town and write a story for you, I thought it would be better to uh, you know let it suggest what you might want to write to humans. So so the Earth and the same time in the first. Uh, what do you think? Age. Age. Um, the king of his eyes. <laughs> in the companions of the same old man. Um, who longed to be a little child. Um, then the old woman. Uh, then the old woman. Um, of the earth was not to be of the earth. <laughs> <laughs> of the earth was not to be of the earth dragons. Um, and then he said, uh, he said, he said, oh my mother, when I was first um, of the. Jason world, <laughs> etc. Um, and so, uh, so this is cool. We can then uh, we can then log in uh, using our super secure password, and uh, and we can save our story, which doesn't quite work. But you can see some of the saved stories we have. So here's um, uh, here is green eggs and ham, and so let's just look at uh, let's look at green eggs and ham and see what that might look like. I am Sam, I am Sam, Sam I am, that Sam I am, that Sam I am. You probably all remember it. Um, uh, I do not like them, Sam I am. Bellerophon declined to the world. <laughs> uh, Bellerophon de declined, declined to the world. Um, so, uh, so, What's, what's cool is I, I wasn't able to get uh, trigrams working yet. So trigrams take three word uh, sets and make predictions based off of that. But, uh, but once, once I do and add a little bit more probability magic to it, it, it should actually come out, um, uh, come out in a way that looks pretty cool. Uh, so a couple things. Uh, let's see, a couple other things I wanted to show you. Where is it? Where's my post code count? Um, so I wanted to show you some statistics on stories. Um, so we'll start with words. Uh, so here are, uh, you can see there are 28,000 unique words. Um, some of the most frequent in children's literature are the, and, of, to, a, he, in, his, was, that, it. Fairly, um, uh, fairly common. Uh, one I, that came up a lot was king. Um, I don't know quite where that is on here. But as you go down, you can see some of the ones that are a little bit less common. These are more interesting, like, like Jack. I think Jack and the Beanstalk was in there. So, uh, so the training corpus is really important. Um, so uh, beautiful and woman are both have exactly the same frequency. So that's kind of interesting. Um, now let's look at our bigram frequencies. And so um, bigrams are these two word phrases. Uh, on here, you can't see the, the, the words, but, uh, but you can kind of make them out over here. So uh, the most common um, two-word phrase in uh, children's literature, at least what I had, is in the, then to the, then of the, 
then uh, and he and the, and so those are, aren't very interesting. Let's look at some less, less common ones. Would not his eyes back to on his the king, there's the king showing up a bunch of times. Now let's look down here at some of the really less common ones. A place, you, a, he cried, um, if they, to himself. Um, so with a little bit more time, I'd be able to have three word phrases and, and it would have, uh, he cried, let's see, where is it? He cried maybe to himself. Would be a would be a good uh, would be a good. Uh, let's see. I think that might be all I wanted to show you. Uh, I am going to talk more about bigrams tomorrow in my tech talk. So I'll get a little bit more into the guts of what we did. Thank you.